Hello and welcome to E-Magazine. I'm your host, Brenda Nyemi Chaba. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we have a special guest and um, she's going to help us have a conversation, a simple guide to making the perfect content for fashion and lifestyle. And the one and only person joining me today on E-Magazine is Yasmin, who is a lifestyle and a fashion content creator. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. I hope me. you're as excited as I am to have you on yes, the show today. Yes, this is actually my first TV interview. Yay! So oh, excited. that's amazing. I hope um, that makes it on your book of success. Yes. <laughs> now, of course, Yasmin, yeah, you, you've been creating content uh, for fashion and lifestyle. And I want you to tell me about your journey of getting into that and when exactly you started and realized your passion for this? Um, I would say it started back in 2017, mm -hmm. late 2016. I had finished high school obviously, I was waiting to get into university and I was so confused about what I wanted to do with my life. Yeah. And I used to binge watch YouTube, like Nikki Tutorials back in the day, Shane Dawson, and I just thought, you know, why not? Okay. Start out. I'm yeah. a big fan of those as well. Mm -hmm. I've watched a lot of YouTube, but mm -hmm. I never tried to pursue anything. <laughs> Me too. So I just decided to start filming one day and just like I'm that. Out. That's just amazing. Like that. So are you in school right now or are you doing um, this content creation full time? Yes, currently I am doing content creation full time. Mm -hmm. I did finish school back in end of June last year okay. and I did programming and coding. Wow. But then my first love was like content creation. Okay. So this is what I'm doing now. That's amazing. So far, how's your experience been? You said you started around 2016. 17, yes. So how has that journey, how's the experience been? Would you say it's been really difficult trying to penetrate into this particular market? Because there are a lot of people trying it out. So what's your experience been like? I would say I, was, I wasn't very like consistent. Mm -hmm. I was very scared, shy about like what my family would think, what my friends would think about me talking up, like in front of a camera, you uh -huh. know, it was very different. So it was very scary for me at first, but then I slowly started like gaining confidence in myself mm -hmm. and then the rest was like history. That's beautiful. And what really inspired you to decide the kind of angle you want to go with the YouTube channel? My, I am a hijabi, mm -hmm. obviously, first of all. Yes. So I never saw a lot of like representation in like TV, on YouTube, on magazines, mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. shows. So I thought, I needed someone who would represent girls like me, mm -hmm. women like me, and mm -hmm. I thought, why not it be me? Wonderful. Yeah. I'm glad that you mentioned that, actually. Um, on that note, what role do you think you play for a lot of, um, you know, of course, you do a lot of modest fashion. Yes. So for Muslim girls out there, what role do you think you play for them? Especially, we, we're in a, in a space where we're growing fashion-wise. Mm -hmm. You know, young girls like you want to look good and stylish at the same time, you want to be modest. So what role do you think you're playing for them out there, especially in Kenya? It definitely has to do with, like, thinking modern fashion and my religion. Doesn't mean like if I'm religious or I am following my religion, it doesn't mean like I can't look stylish, mm -hmm. I can't be into trends and everything. Okay, that's yeah. beautiful. Now, another thing I want to look at, of course, starting a YouTube channel is no joke. It has a lot of investment <laughs> in time. Yes. So I want you to take me through some of the investment and some of the sacrifices you had to make to get your channel to where it is today. One of the biggest investments I had to make was time, mm -hmm. obviously. Like I mentioned, a lot of people don't know the time it takes yeah. into thinking about an idea, you know, filming and editing and bringing it all together into like one project. So mm -hmm. time was one of the biggest investments I had to make. Another investment I had to make was my social life. <laughs> <laughs> because I'd stay home most of the time and just film videos. Uh -huh. And a lot of my friends would be like, yo, what happened to you? Why are you like, not? I'm like, filming. Yeah, like I'm busy. <laughs> so yeah. Wow. And on that note, I, I want you to take me through, for example, a, a day in your life when it comes to when you're trying to think of the content you're creating. How long is it going to take you to edit it? Just take me through that because I'm, I'm quite curious. Because people only think content creation is very easy. They can just wake up, make a video mm -hmm. and post it on YouTube. Exactly. It's not. For me personally, I like to take it as months. Mm -hmm. So like beginning of every month, I write down like a couple of ideas that I have like straight off my head. Mm -hmm. So I write them down and then as time goes on, I start piecing those ideas together. It's like, okay, if I did this and mm -hmm. this, will it suit, will it match, will it be, would it make sense? Because sometimes you might have an idea, but the execution doesn't it's make sense. It's completely different. Exactly. So for me, it's beginning of the month. Then as I keep going, the ideas come together mm -hmm. and then I pick a day Mm -hmm. filming either if I'm doing it myself or I'm also saying like a videographer or photographer uh -huh. and then go about it that way. Just to let you know guys, her videos are like a whole movie. Like <laughs> it's like a whole production. It's quite crazy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, I just wanted to talk about um, 
you know, you put yourself in a space where you, you do a lot of fashion content, you yes. do a lot of lifestyle content. Mm -hmm. Now I want to focus on the fashion a little bit because you're putting your, yourself in a space where you can have brands coming up, coming to work with you. Yes. So just take me through the brands that have approached you to you know, have partnerships and how has that been? I haven't worked with as many brands. Mm -hmm. I feel like brands started approaching me last year. Last year was, I feel like, the year where I was more visible to mm -hmm. a lot of brands. So a few of the brands that I worked with, I think, which were more noticeable to me was Revlon, which is a beauty brand, yes, and yes. Always. Okay. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Now, when it comes to fashion, of course, mm -hmm. I still want to be on that note. Um, take me through what inspires your style, because it's, it's very sophisticated. It's different. It's very different. <laughs> and what do a lot of people say about it? I guess the most I've heard people say is my style is very quirky. Uh -huh. <laughs> like it's very playful, very... Yes, very true. I wouldn't call it dangerous, but people would think, wow, if I did this, it w I wouldn't think it would look this good, uh, right? Very true. So what inspires my style, to be honest, is I watch a lot of like runway shows. I'm always on Pinterest. Like wow. all the time. Like so how I long just do you spend on Pinterest? Hmm? How, lo how many hours it's do you like spend quite on Pinterest? It's like quite embarrassing. Wow. <laughs> it's a very long. So I just go through like fashion boards and everything. And then most of the outfits I see is very unmodest. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I tend to like think, okay, how can I make this modest? So mm -hmm. it's like a challenge to me. Okay. Yeah. That's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Now, when it comes to, you know, content creation as a whole, right now in Kenya, it's something that's booming. A lot of people are trying it out, especially when it comes to fashion and lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So in a space where it's very competitive, you know, trying to get, you know, standing out from the other um, individuals in the space, I just want, to, I want you to take me through what exactly you do different in order to just show guys this completely different space for me compared to the other content creators out there. For me, it was more about being myself. I came into this space doing what I love, showing what I love and mm -hmm. doing it my way. So I guess people were attracted to that. Yes. And also, I guess my niche is very unique. There isn't a lot of like hijabis yes. in this space. Yes. So yeah. Okay, wonderful. Now I have so much questions for you. But we're going to take a short commercial break, but do not go anywhere. We have more in e Magazine. I'll see you after this break.